Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can manage the browser drivers uh, dependency using Maven as well. Okay, so uh, in the last tutorial, we have seen how you can add the Selenium Java or any other dependency in the pom.xml file. You simply have to go to Maven repository, find that particular dependency, get the tag and add it here in the dependencies tag in between okay to remove the dependency simply uh, remove the tag and save so you will see that the reference has gone okay now let's copy the same file so this is just a sample uh, test wherein i'm just uh, launching ebay.com and then maximizing the browser and then i'm uh, sending the keys in the search box so send uh, i'm typing in the text mobile into the text box and then clicking on the search button and then closing the browser okay so let me without you know having any of the reference library let me simply copy it into my uh, test.java okay so under ui i'll simply paste this file okay and here you can see that it is giving you know errors okay so there are errors because it cannot find that particular jar okay so uh, the dependency is not available yet. So what we'll do is to manage that simply in the POM, we'll just add the dependency. Okay, let me copy that from the Maven repository. Okay, so I'll simply copy Selenium Java dependency and paste it here, right? So I just wanna show you to format, just say, uh, just press Control Shift F and save okay as soon as you will save it will build the workspace and you can see all the errors are gone okay so now you can see this particular file okay let me close it and open it again so there are no errors anymore okay if you run it it will run successfully now because it has by default downloaded all the dependencies that are required okay so it opened ebay.com it will maximize the browser it will type in the text in the text box and click on search and then close the browser okay so that's the beauty of using maven and you know um, how helpful it can be um, for your project or the team that is working on the automation project and uh, the next thing is basically so here if you see on this particular line what I'm doing is I am basically, um, you know, if it is a Chrome browser, I am using system.set property, webdriver.chrome.driver, and then providing the location of the driver exe file that I have placed at C browser drivers and Chrome driver. Okay. Now, say for example, tomorrow you upgraded your uh, Chrome browser and you need another version of the Chrome driver. Okay. Then what you have to do is you have to get another version of the chrome driver and you uh, place it in the same location and use you know another version so managing this for yourself and if you, if there are 10 people working in the team is really tedious okay if any version changes uh, then you have to manually download put it into the location and then refer reference to it okay so there is a, a better way uh, which maven uh, you in which you can utilize maven and uh, manage the dependency of the browser drivers as well let's understand that so if we go to maven repository here if you just type web driver manager okay and hit enter you'll see that uh, this is automatic selenium web driver binaries management in runtime for java okay so if you if we just get this dependency web driver manager uh, before we get into the dependency thing let's see what exactly this is okay and this is the dependency here and if we go to the um, home page so we'll get the detail of you know documentation of the web driver manager so this is a library, okay, which allows to automate the management of binary drivers like Chrome driver, Gecko, etc., required by Selenium web driver. Okay, if we go to the basic usage, okay, so you just have to import or you just have to add this dependency into your Maven project, pom.xml file, 
and it will download all the required dependencies accordingly uh, if you scroll down a bit so this is um, you know what we usually we do is we to manage the browser drivers we sim we need to download and then place it at location and then use you know system.set property um, to you know point to that particular location in order to run our scripts accordingly okay but we don't want to do that because it's not uh, you know easy process to do that maintenance so uh, web driver manager you know um, add-on uh, basically what it does is it this library will help you to manage all that okay so if you see the steps here so it checks the version of the browser installed on your machine this is the first automated thing that it does it checks the browser version that is installed and then it checks the the version of the driver that is you know like available and if it is unknown that which version uh, it needs to download for uh, the browser version that is installed on your machine it will download the latest version of the browser driver then it downloads the web driver binary if it is not present on the web driver manager cache so it will you will see those binaries in the uh, .m2 repository web driver and it handles all these um, steps automatically and don't have to go to you know any browser driver download website and download chrome driver or i driver or edge driver or gecko driver for firefox separately simply what you have to do is after adding that dependency it will download all the required uh, you know information and uh, installables that are required in your script you simply have to add accordingly so if you are using chrome driver simply say web driver manager dot uh, chrome driver dot setup okay and it will do the rest you simply have to add this line depending on which browser you are going to run your test case on so let's see how it is done so we'll simply go to this tag okay to the maven uh, dependency i'll copy this and we'll go to pom.xml okay and we'll paste this dependency control shift f and then i'll save it and you will see that it is building the workspace here in the right hand corner so once this done then this setup will be complete all right and now what we have to do is if we open this file here demo automation so it is still building now we don't need this line anymore okay instead of this line what we need is we just need to import or we just need to add one step here and what exactly it is so if i want to run the test on the chrome driver i'll simply say web driver manager dot chrome driver dot setup okay i'll copy that and put it into my script there okay instead of this system dot set property now once i'll add it i'll get this particular error because i need to import that package okay so uh, if you just hover your uh, mouse and click on it it will say import web driver manager okay and that web driver manager has been you know imported okay so it has downloaded those dependencies and they are available here you can see that web driver manager 4.0.0 jar has been downloaded so that that add-on is there library is there and now i can simply save and run the script without this particular line and i don't have to manage these browsers in this particular location even if even if i delete the browser from chrome driver uh, this particular location uh, this script should run fine so let me delete this browser so i'll simply go to this location and i'll remove browser drivers from here okay i'll delete it uh, so it is used let me uh, cancel the processes there are uh, there is chrome driver uh, yeah this is in use so i'll simply end it so that i can remove that file so let me yeah so now it is deleted okay so now we see that particular file is not there let's run this particular script so it will launch chrome browser and run 
all those steps right so it has successfully launched the browser it has opened ebay.com it will type in the text mobile and click on search and then close the browser okay so now you can see that we do not have to main, maintain or manage these browser drivers manually anymore so that is what the advantage of using uh, maven uh, project and installing maven uh, as, a, as a dependency management tool and in future tutorial in the advanced tutorial series we'll see how you can use maven for your build task as well okay so hope you like the tutorial thank you very much for watching